is going on YouTube? David here with another exciting video. Today I will be opening up two of these mystery power cubes and I also have 10 Unified Minds booster packs. But first, you are tuned into The David Stefan, a community based solely on Pokemon. Hit that subscribe button down below and also that bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video and you can stay up to date on all the giveaways that I have going on. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter under the handle The David Stefan. Alright, so a good friend of mine that I work with actually bought these for me to open up on the channel. All the cards are his, I'm just opening them up, and I told him I'm not going to give them to him until he watches the video. So, I hope you're enjoying, and I hope you enjoy all the pulls that you get. I've never opened up these mystery power cubes before. I've heard it's hit or miss, so I'm basically going to review it, let you guys know what I think. And then, obviously, you know, the Unified Minds booster packs, that's self-explanatory. So let's dive right into it. So, i got a knife, going to open these guys up. I'm pretty excited to see what's in it. Uh, it does say that it comes with 60 common cards and 3 foil cards or 2 foil cards plus an EXGX or special card. So, it comes in a nice little uh, plastic carrying case which is pretty cool to store cards in. It does look like it's a little beat up. Yeah, see I just broke a little chunk of plastic off there which is kind of whatever. But uh, these are... I'm pretty sure these are packaged by third parties, so that is why I'm kind of skeptical on buying them. Anything that's mystery power cube, mystery whatever, I just, I don't know. So it's kind of, if you look on the inside of it, it makes it seem like you're going to get a lot more cards, but honestly, you're getting, you get the top loader, which is nice, I guess. But we're going to go through these cards real quick. So it looks like it's probably going to range from a bunch of different series. Or maybe not. So this is Sun and Moon, yeah, and then we got Steam Siege. Uh, this is, looks like a Gyarados box of some sort. Alolan Geodude from Guardians Rising. Beldum. Petlil. Komala. Gliscor. Uh, we got Dartrix from Sun and Moon. Rowlet. Nidoran from Evolutions. Ponyta from Evolutions. Uh, Solosis, I think that's Fates Collide and wheezing and then for the rest of this box all right so you get a reverse hollow right there you got binnacle okay so you get tapu coco it's a promo card so that's kind of a ripoff honestly if you're buying something that says exgx like is that considered a special card you know like these are 25 30 dollars for a promo card that's kind of a ripoff a dawn wing necrozma another promo card so um, yeah, cool. So there's the three, <laughs> those are the three hollows. So, first one isn't that much fun. Poplio, Silcoon, a lot of these are from, uh, it looks like, you know, newer Sun and Moon sets. Lost Thunder, that's only four or five series ago, so that's not too bad. I mean, you do get a lot of bulk, which is nice, so if you're a collector, and after we go through the second one, I'll, I'll definitely let you know if it's worth buying. But, I mean, it looks like we got a lot of the cards from Lost Thunder alone. So, if the, if the other power cubes like this where it's all Lost Thunder, then it's probably going to be a ripoff. But, we'll see when we get to it. Zatu, Cyndaquil. This is a pretty cool Cyndaquil art. Ralts. I like this. How it's like kind of claymation. Pretty cool. Onyx. So now we're into evolution, so we got Vulpix, Poliwhirl, and right out into Shining Legends, Purloin, Electrode, so it, it ranges, Steam Siege, Fletchling, Flaffy, back to Evolutions, back to Lost Thunder, so it's just all over the place. I wonder if that's what like a lot of these third party sellers are, you know, just buying bulk off of people, or if they just, you know, buy and search for the best looking card. I mean, all the cards are in good shape, so it's really not too bad, you know? And the Tapu Koko and Donwing Necrozma, like, yeah, they're promo cards, but some people collect promos, you know? So, I mean, I guess that's good on them if that's what they're into, but I'll set those off to the side so we can look at those afterwards. Kind of bummed out. You know, I was thinking an EX or GX or non-promo at least, but we'll dive into this second box. Push all this off to the side. Top loader was kind of useless. <laughs> Alright. Get into this one. 
first one was kind of a dud. Maybe the second one will save it. Who knows? I mean, at least you get the little cool carrying case, honestly. That's probably the best thing out of this whole thing. So, looks like you get another top loader. I don't even know. There we go. Alright, so... Alright, so you get a Polytoad. I'm not sure. I think that's X and Y Furious Fists. So, not a promo. Uh, Puke Muku Reverse from Sun and Moon and Popplio promo card. Great. That's cool. Uh, let's see what series this is mostly containing. So we're starting off with Guardians Rising, Heliotile, Gotharita, Salandit, Stuffle, Rockruff, Barboach, Beware, Gothita, Litwick, Watchdog, Hakamao, Chansey, Slowpoke, just sitting in a bunch of flowers, alright. Machop, Beldum, so this is a lot, a lot of Guardians Rising. Lowland Graveler, Litwick from Steam Siege, back into Guardians Rising with Metang. Wow, so I guess whenever they were packaging this one up, they just grabbed from the Guardians Rising bulk. Which again, like I said before, if you are a collector and you want to complete a series, and you're missing a whole bunch of common cards and this and that. Yeah, sure, this is the way to go. But for $30 for you to get, you know, three pro well, so $60 really and three promo cards, is that really worth it to you? So Rescue Stretcher. So I think these are all like trainers or something. Energy Recycler, Hala. Oh no, there we go. Okay, so we got some tag team, War Turtle, Knit Arena. Okay, two tag team, uh, Clefairy. This is all Guardians Rising again. Machop, I like that art a lot. Got some Taylo, Sableye eating some lettuce. It looks like, I don't know, what is that? Lettuce? Sure. Kamala, Machoke, Snorunt, Gumi, Alolan Geodude, Mudbray, Cacnea. Okay, so now we're into Celestial Storm, uh, Crimson Invasion. Back into Guardians Rising. It's just kind of all over the place in this one. So, Bellsprout, Cottony, Whalmer, Fletchling, Wimpod, Pet Rat, Slowbro, okay, and Jenga Mo. -oh. So, overall, honestly, I'm gonna say I am not, I would never suggest buying these unless you're a collector because this is what we got. I don't think that this is worth, you know, however much he spent for two of these. So $60, we get a Popplio promo card, a Puka Muku reverse holo. It's not even like a reverse rare or anything. Polytoad is the only holographic that we got from two, you know, 120 cards basically. And then Tapu Koko promo. We got this Binnacle and Don, Don Wings Necrozma. So. I don't know. It's up to you guys. This is just my thoughts. Um, at the end of the day, you do get a top loader. Those come in handy. So, get this out of the way, and we're going to open up these 10 Unified Minds packages, or booster packs, excuse me, that he bought. So, I'm hoping we can get something good out of this. He has been holding on to these for like a week, waiting for me to be able to film, so I'm going to jump right into it. We all know the card trick. I'm not sure what he wants to do with the um, code cards, so I'm going to set them off to the side for now, and then if he decides, I'll just add them to the, the stack. So for the first pack, we got Honedge, Sneasel, Magnemite, Slakoff, Axu, Grimsley, as the reverse, we got Archops as the rare non holographic, Dark Energy, Electric, Den Dedene, Dead Dedene? Hmm, don't know how to say that. And Lurantis. Alright. On to the next pack. By the way, Millage, if there's a Kangaskhan, Tapu Finny, or a Celestila, sorry, dude, I'm taking them. Alright, so back into it. Alright, so all the code cards are facing out. Make sure you guys don't get those, because like I said, I don't know what he's planning on doing with them. We got Joltik, Salandit, Riolu, Meditite, Sh 
Shroomish. We got Chandelure as the reverse rare holographic. All right, that's a nice card. We got Xerkic Tree. Oh, Circuit Tree, Circuit Tree. That, nice play on words right there. All right. We got the Electric Energy, Noctowl, Tranquil, and Electric. All right. So two packs in, nothing too good. I'm pretty sure he got these straight from the booster box, so chances are we'll have two or three white code cards is my guess. Um, ooh, first one. All right. So let's hope for a hit on this one. Good luck to you, my friend. Hoping only the best for you. All right. So, start off with that fighting energy. We got Basculin, Munchlax, Reset Stamp, Dwebble, Pidov, Muna, Pikachu, Lickitung. We got Drapion as the Reverse Rare Holographic and Silvali Rare Holographic. Alright, so nice pull. It's not a tag team or a GX or anything. I'm just going to grab these sleeves for him real quick. Sleeve up the hollow, put it in the back. But, you know, nothing too special, but it's a holographic nonetheless. So that's pretty cool. Glad we could pull that for him. Alright. It's moving cards around. I'm sorry, guys. Next pack. Man, all these code cards are facing the wrong way. Green code card, nothing. So, we got Litwick. Cubone, Yanma, Young Goose, Kragonal, Hoot Hoot as the reverse, and Whimsicott, rare, non-holographic. We got that Steel Energy, Vigoroth, Audino, and Thunderous. Alright, keep her going. Another green code card. Fletchling. Onyx, Fletchinder, Snover, Murkrow, ooh, Dragonair is the reverse hollow. That's a nice card. I like the sunlight coming down and, you know, very nature-like. We got Latius, rare, non-holographic, Water Energy, Reset Stamp, Heracross, and Type Null. All right, so we are halfway down. We got five packs left. Hope you guys are wishing my friend some luck. He's done nothing but support the channel, and I really appreciate it, so. We got Murkrow, Snover, Dratini, Fungus, Honedge, Delmes, Salazzle, Water, Orangu, Weakness Guard Energy, and Stadium Nav. That kind of looks like a, what were they called in Digimon, uh, Digivice. Kind of cool. Alright. On to the next pack. Ooh, oh, ooh, I saw something. I saw something. We're going to do four to the front. Best of luck, my friend. Best of luck. So we got this Dark Energy, Giant Bomb, Bug Catcher, Mesprit, Magnemite, Slackoth, Axu, Fletchender, Stunfisk, we got Leavenie as the reverse, and for the hollow, we have a Mile GX. All right, super happy I could pull this for him. I'm gonna sleeve her up, let, her, let him look at her real quick. It's a nice card right there. The art in this series is top notch. I'm very excited for Hidden Fates to come out this week. I've heard that the art's even better, so. I can't believe it can get better than this. Alright, another green code card. So we got Joltik, Dratini, Young Goose, Yanma, Execute, Electric, Magmortar. We got Psychic Energy, Lapras, Relicanth, and Fracture. Alright. Another green. Saladent. Boom Sweet. Another Saladent. <laughs> Scraggy. Tynamo. Finian as the reverse. And Scrafty Rare Non Holographic. Fighting Energy. 
We got this Normalium Z, Hapu, and Magneton. All right, so we are on the last pack. Let's hope for some last pack magic. Thank you again for letting me open these up on my channel. I really appreciate it. You're only helping me out, you know, and plus now you get to wait a little bit for the cards. No last pack magic, but that is all right. Let's get into it. We got Cubone, Drudgegon, Shroomish, Drifloon, Dupiter. We got Lickitung as the reverse. Oh, and we got another Circuitry as the rare non-holographic. We got a Leaf Energy, Elgium, Pukamuku, and Vigoroth. All right, so let's go through these hits. We got the Silvali Rare Holographic, which I think is a pretty cool looking card. The art's really cool. If it focuses, I really like that little slash that it's got going on right there. The hollow's really nice on it. You got that nice rainbow effect. So that's a good hit right there. And of course we got this Mile GX, which is a really nice card as well. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to give the video a like, and if you haven't, subscribe down below. Also, don't forget about the two giveaways I have going on. There are links down in the description for you guys to enter. Do so. If you are international, please refrain from entering into the code card giveaway. But as always, I hope you guys have a great night, and I will talk to you later.